Wait, don't screw, pay attention. Have you ever wondered why most movie industries in the world are adopting the name Wood? Hollywood, Nollywood, Hollywood, Gallywood. What is wrong with them and Wood? Do you think it's a coincidence? I don't think so. Pay attention. Listen, there's a reason they're adopting the name Woods. Listen, thousands of years ago, there were a system in charge of Europe. They were called the Drots. The Drots system. These people were the ones controlling Europe. They were the doctors, the lawyers, the engineers. They're the ones that run the educational system. They were so powerful, very powerful. And one of the instruments that the Drots used was a magic wand. The magic wand, just like the wand that the magicians use. They use the magic wand. And the magic wand that the magicians use are made from the holy trees, made out of the holy wood. The magic wand that a magician use is made from the holy tree, that are made from the holy wood. Now, holy wood from the magic wand, the movie industry, Hollywood. Do you see the synergy? Now, why should a movie industry adopt the name that is gotten from a place where a magic wand is being made? What is the synergy? What is the relationship? What is the sympathical? Look at it. The thing is that the movie industry is not different from the magic wand that the magician use. What does the magician do with the magic wand? The magician uses the magic wand to control the mind of his victim. When he wants you to think how he wants you to think, he uses the magic wand to control you. So the movie industry adopted the name Hollywood because the movie industry performs the duty of the magic wand. The movie industry controls your mind. The movie industry states how you should think. The movie industry is the one that sets an agenda for the world. That is why when they want to influence our culture, what they do is to put it in the movie industry. When you watch it, immediately you start behaving how they want you to behave. 40 years ago, when you see a man who sat his pants on television, you say to Fiafwa, but today, a whole lot of our boys are sagging their pants. It is now like a norm because it was infused through the movie industry, through the Hollywood, through the Nollywood, through the Bollywood, through the Gollywood, and today, we are performing how they want us to perform. That is why in the early 1900s, Masha McCuhan came up with a theory called Magic Bullet Theory, which can also be called Stimulus Response Theory, which can also be called Hypodemic Needle Theory. He called it Magic Bullet Theory because the media is like a magical wand. It controls how you should think. The media, especially the Hollywood, it is the window picture of the world. The Opus Mundus, the superstructure, use the Hollywood to make us think how they want us to think. So, the movie industry in Africa adopted the same thing and called their own Nollywood, Gollywood, because they are the ones that set agenda on how we should think. That is why Masha McCuhan came up with a theory called Agenda Setting Theory. He called it Agenda Setting Theory to state that the media sets an agenda on how you should think on how you should think that agenda setting theory states that although the mass media do not have the power to state what and how you should think but to a great extent the mass media is obviously influential in what we as a nation as a society and as a group of people think in a particular period and in a given society that is why theories are stated that the media controls our mind and what is theory theories are logical coherent systematic group of acceptable preposition that state how things are done in the field of study using a phenomenon or hoja in 2014 stated that knowledge does not exist in a vacuum in every field of discipline there must be a body of work that state how things are done in a given phenomenon now in mass communication in social science theories fall under two categories 
These categories are social scientific theories. These social scientific theories are consisting of generalizations. These generalizations are derived from systematic observation and objective analysis of mass media variables, employing methods. These methods are gotten from empirical research from the field of social science, such as experimentation, such as content analysis, such as field survey, such as opinions, tenets, views, perception, ideology, geographical modeling that state how things were yesterday, how things are today, and how things are expected to be tomorrow. So the media industry is what creates an agenda for us it is what creates our reality. It is what states how we should think. It is what paints a picture for the world for us. That is why you must be media selective. I call it media selectivity. If you do not select what you allow your mind to consume, you are going to be thinking like a robot. Because the media industry, the Hollywood, the Bollywood, the Gollywood, all the woods in the world are made to set an agenda for you so you must control your mind by controlling what you allow your mind to consume as a media consumption you must be mindful if not before you will know what you have become you will become a product of gumbo diplomacy and machiavellian manipulation africa you must be careful of what you allow your children to watch on the television you yourself must be careful because even the cartoons your children watch our culture has been influenced through the cartoons the language the vulgar the expressives so the media industry adopted the world hollywood because of where the magic wand is gotten from the holy tree which is gotten from the hollywood hollywood magic wand Hollywood, use your head. They are all in simpatico. They are all in synergy. They are all in palipasu. That is a deliberate, conscious, conspicuous analysis between these two factors. Be careful of what you consume, else you will be a product of gumbo diplomacy. For Wisdom Africa is the principal thing. The world is changing. And anyone who does not change with the changing world will be left behind. Do you want to learn how to make money using artificial intelligence? Do you want to learn how you can monetize your skill using artificial intelligence? Do you want to learn how to create content for different social media platforms using artificial intelligence? Worry no more. Your solution has come. And your solution lies in the palm of King Musa AI digitalization. This platform offers you a rare opportunity into the world of artificial intelligence. King Musa Digital AI Mastery Course offers you a rare opportunity into learning how to create AI content monetization. They give you platform to learn how to create content using AI artificial intelligence. They give you opportunity on how to grow your business using artificial intelligence. King Musa Digital AI Mastery Course is a platform where a course will be provided for you where you can study and learn everything you need to know about the world of artificial intelligence. What is so special about King Musa? King Musa gives you opportunity immediately you register, you will be ushered into a platform where opportunity and pretoria of information on job opportunity concerning artificial intelligence will be given to you. Remember, modern day town crier does not advertise what is not beneficial. So what do you do? Go on and register with King Musa AI Digital Master Course. What do you do? WhatsApp or message the phone number that appears on your screen 070-33459155 070-33459155 Remember, we are in an octopus generation a generation that moves with an hashtag What are you waiting for? Rush up and do your register mastery course so you can roll with the world for Wisdom Africa It's the principal thing